Uh, today, we're going to be talking a little bit what we've been calling the three Fs. What's a, a tangible way for me to measure if I'm in a good place or if I'm looking for another job, if it's a good place for me? First one is finances. Obviously, the money has to make sense. Does it have to make you rich? No. Does it have to make you broke? It, it can't do that. So the finances portion is the one that's easiest to measure has to just make sense for your situation. Um, can you pay your bills? Can you save a little bit of money? Um, or do you see yourself, Do can you see a way to, to grow in that company quickly financially? So obviously the first of the three S is, is finances. The other two are the ones I wanna camp out on today. The second one is fit. So a lot of times people um, just look at the salary package and say, oh, I'm, this, is, this is a solid company and I'm gonna get paid a lot. And I want to challenge you to think a little bit more um, if you're if you're one looking for a new job or you're looking for people to hire. So put in your category. Are you a company if you're a business owner that's a good fit for people? Do you have a good company culture? Do you have good time off? Are your hours good? Place for people to feel like they can be expressive and creative and and not be you know bored all the time. You need to be a company that is a good fit for people. And then vice versa, if you're looking for a company. Make sure before you accept the job, no matter the finances portion, that it's a good fit for you, that it makes sense for your drive. It makes sense for your lifestyle. Your your wife or your spouse is happy with it. Um, there's so many things to think about when a company is a good fit for you. Here's the X factor one is function. Is the fit good, but the function bad? Meaning if your skills is marketing and advertising within the Atlanta Braves organization, but they offer you a job in ticket sales, not gonna function really well in that company. So finances could be good, fit could be pretty good, but then the function's not good. You're not gonna be happy, you're not gonna be fulfilled, uh, your skills, your talents, your hopes, your passions, they're not gonna get exercised. So three months in, you're just gonna be like super depressed or super frustrated. Um, and next thing you know, you're like, man, I'm really not wanting to be here. Within this is two out of three can be justifiable for a short amount of time. But you really need to get to three out of three. Meaning, let's say, going back to the Atlanta Braves conversation, I'm a huge Braves fan. Let's say they said, hey, we really wanna get you into a spot of sales, marketing or marketing advertising, but we only have a position open right now in ticket sales. Would you be willing to come in for the next three to six months so that we can get you a part of the organization? And as soon as one of those spots opens, because they open one, yeah, every three to six months, you're in that spot. That's a pretty good compromise. Your finances made sense, your fit made sense, the function doesn't yet make sense, but there's a plan of action for that to happen pretty quickly. Um, so it gets you assimilated to the company, gets you in the culture, gets you in the door, and then there's a plan and a process to get you where you wanna go. I think that's a really great compromise and strategy point for the three Fs, but you might not want to. Uh, you might say, no, you know what, I don't wanna do that because I know I'd not like the ticket sales job. Sometimes we have to do what we have to do in order to do what we wanna do. So that's something to think about. Uh, on the flip side of that, employers, um, you've got to give people a roadmap. If you if you acknowledge or um, a candidate is someone you really, really want, uh, but you don't have a, a, a fit or a, a position for them right now, but you really don't want them to walk away, sometimes you gotta bite the bullet on that and kind of figure out how to navigate those waters in the meantime. So if you can you know, make sure you are that company that has that right for people, or if you're looking for that, make sure you have at least two out of three. Comment below in YouTube if you think this makes sense or, or if there's something you use. I would love to, to hear some things uh, that you guys have, listeners. Uh, if you're on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, uh, go onto our Instagram and make sure you comment there, DM us your thoughts. Thanks for being a listener. Please go give us a review, subscribe, comment wherever you can, and see you next time. Thanks.